Hi everyone, uh, since releasing my how to create Go Launcher themes yesterday, um, I've been highly requested to make a video showing how to make iOS themes and it is going to get a little bit complicated so I've decided to do this in a two part series. Um, this video I'll be showing you sort of the ins and outs of what is contained in an iOS theme and what icons would need compiling in order to make up the iOS theme and then in the second video I will quickly run through each section replacing files and telling you um, how to basically do it so I'm using my late well one of my latest free themes as a guide so when you first open it up you will see there's a few folders and a couple of files in this folder I'll start at the top so you've got the bundles folder and this used to be like full to the brim back in the iOS 6 days but there's only two folders in here now that we've reached iOS 8 so the first one is called com.apple.progressui and in this folder there are these four images and they are for the boot logo so when you either turn off your phone or you um, respring your phone for any reason these are the little dots that would show up in the place where the apple usually would be um, just a quick note that as you can see there are four files you might be wondering oh, why, why do I have to have four of the same image all the same size as well as you can see over here it's 270 by 143 always look at the dimensions of something and make sure you stick to them otherwise you will end up with a load of blown up images on your phone and it all gets a bit messy and complicated so you've got to be very precise when replacing these images but yeah um, I'm not entirely sure why there are duplicates of each image and why you have to do that in certain cases um, I assume for this one it's because sometimes you might have a black screen with the white apple on it or you might have a white screen with the black apple on it depending on the device I think so that's probably why it says here like black and um, it doesn't say white anywhere I don't think that one's got two PNGs on it and that's probably not right this is another thing you've always got to make sure they're named right otherwise they will not work don't know why that's like that um, so yeah that's to replace the boot logo the apple sort of um, image when you start up and the next folder in the bundles folder is com.apple.telephonyui and these are all the images to replace your dialer and uh, lock screen passcode again there's a lot of replacements so you've got two here and you've got three here of that one oh no sorry you've got four here of that one so you don't ever have to really worry about what they're called as long as you literally just double click and open it in Photoshop just replace the image and then you're sort of set anyway and then you just make sure when you save it that it, it retains the same name so you it will say do you are you sure you want to overwrite and you say yes and then you've kept the same name and you've kept the same dimensions so that one so they're the only two folders and bundles um, extras is what's the word it's a personal preference these are the things that won't I don't think any of these work with um, winterboard so this isn't particularly um, about theming but like in mine I'll put like an alternative badge I put keyboards in for the um, I can't remember what it's called now is it colorful keyboard pro so I've got my different sized keyboards in here but that's for a different sort of video obviously this is just the theme video I'll always put a lock glyph in some zeppelins, some open notifiers um, some weather and some paperboard backgrounds for your notes so that folder isn't mandatory it's, it is literally just something if you wanted to get extra into a theme as I said I can make another few short videos showing how to make these certain things on their own fallback is for loading screens so when you open an app fresh before um, if it's not in the switcher already if it, you're opening it fresh launching it sort of thing then you will see 
any image that you place here as the loading screen. Again, these are all the same sizes, but they've all got different names just to make sure they sort of work on every device. And then you have a folder called Folders, which has two in. It's got spring, springboard.app, which is, you have your clock background, and you have, if you have the um, classic folders tweak from Cydia, you can add these folder icons in so that it changes, it replaces your folder background. Folder switcher for the same tweak, so when you open a folder up and you've got your icons there, they'll be sat on this background that you choose. Um, you've got your lock screen battery mask, so with iOS, 8, uh, iOS 7 and 8, obviously a lot of it is flat sort of images now, so your best bet is to just put a black image there and it will, depending on your battery life, if you've got it charging it will show it will show you how much it's charged by adding green into the image you put. And you've got your two badges here and here. So these are the notification badges that appear on the icons. And this one is just your average one that will have the digit come up on it. And this one is the exclamation mark. So if you fail to send a text message, this one will come up with the exclamation mark in it to warn you that you haven't sent it. And then in this folder, springboardui.framework, you have your control center slider. So when you lift, um, you swipe up and you've got your control center, you'll have a little knob which you can change the volume or brightness on. That's the little knob that it replaces. And you've also got that here as well with the same name. I'm not entirely sure why. I just, I'm not sure if it'll work without this being placed in this part of the folder, but that's just what I do. Um, icon bundles, so this is your main folder for your icons. You do need to have the icon bundles tweak from Cydia in order for these to show up, as well as Winterboard, obviously. Um, so these have got all specific names. There's some in here that I've added just for Android users as well, which don't, they haven't got like the com dot da da da, it doesn't work with iPhone, they're just in there for my own sort of use. Um, so yeah you have to stick religiously to these names otherwise they will not show up on the chosen icon so these are the bundles names for the specific app so that's what the bundle name for Amazon would be called so then you name your icon that or you know we have we have um, the Kindle app that's the bundle name for it and you have any do app store these all the ones that are com apple uh, all the stock apple apps that come with the iphone so your phone notes mail and you scroll down you've got all these different apps like instagram um tweet tweet bots um, twitter and facebook facebook messenger so it is just a matter of re just always replace i mean even i do that i don't ever start a theme from scratch i don't have like a blank folder and I don't name everything because I, I would not remember all the names of these icons. I just replace each icon making sure that I stick to the name and then I know that it will work. Obviously in my second video I'll be showing you how to do that. But this one's just to show you what each folder means. <clears throat> uh, UI images is basically your status bar images. So you've got your signals. So if you've got full signal, it'll look like that if you're using this theme. Only four bars, one bar will be um, faded out. That's your three bars of signal, two, one. And it's repeated, so you've got your black bars and now you've got your color on gray shadow. And that's because in each screen, such as when you open an app, it's different to your home screen or different to your lock screen. So you've got your lock screen version of the signals. So for example, if I didn't have these lock screen duplicates in then the signals won't show on the lock screen it'll just be stock Apple signals so you've got to make sure you repeat the process this amount of times all the way down to here and also contained in this theme I have a battery icon it's just a just a basic icon to replace the battery and I'll have the percentage next to it um, rotation lock which is obviously when you rotate your script like if you've got um, 
your rotation lock so that your screen doesn't rotate, say if you're led in bed or something, then you'll see this icon on the status bar. <clears throat> if you've got do not disturb set, this icon will appear on the status bar. And you've got LTE, 4G and 3G, they'll appear if you've got any of those set on, and your alarm um, thingy if you've got any alarm set. And these blank ones are basically battery draining, so if you want just an image to replace the battery, you will have to make sure these are still kept in here, the blank, like those two, these two. Just make just you know you don't need to edit them or anything, just leave them where they are and it'll get rid of the green bar that will end up over your battery image if you don't leave them in there. So it'll just basically show a draining bar there. And that's why those blank images are in there. Uh wallpapers obviously there's certain sizes that you need. We'll go into that in the next video. And in my wallpapers folder, I usually put some SMS walls as well. But again, these aren't mandatory to go with the theme. You just pull those from iFile. And your info P list, which basically the only thing I use this for is the calendar. So if I open this with Notepad++, you'll see all this sort of thing going on here. So the um, calendar icon date style, so that's the number that would usually show on your calendar. So it changes every day, obviously, to change with the date. For this theme, I chose a colour that I'd already used in the theme, so that you could see the number. And I chose that for the size of the text, so that it wasn't too big or too small. And then calendar icon date style, I chose the same colour. That's obviously the day, day of the month, what that looks like, and I chose that side size for the day and most of the time it, I use themes where there's just a calendar icon already on sort of the base of the icon and I don't want the date to show so I will just make this like delete this whole thing from the hashtag here well, including the hashtag and I'll just type in transparent and I'll make sure that this here oh no sorry I'll make sure that this here is um, when it says font size I'll make sure it's zero and then zero again here just to make sure um, you can't see any numbers or blurs it's just going to show you the icon instead of the numbers so that is your basic um, your basic theme for iOS 8 and it would have been a lot more complicated and a lot more of a longer video should it have been iOS 6 because there were so many images back then but now it is pretty straightforward so this is why I've decided to also make a video I'll be able to sort of without having to run into like an hour tutorial so that's what all the folders means and now you know like it might help you even if you don't plan on creating your own themes you might want to know how to delete a certain aspect of a theme that you're using because it just it bugs you so say you hate the loading screens just delete the fold fallback folder if you don't like the passcode and dialer just delete this folder here and so on so in the next video I will be, it probably will be quite a long one, I'll be showing you in each folder how I would generally um, replace files and how I would pack up the theme afterwards in order to work with um, Winterboard and Icon Bundles. So if you liked this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You'll get notifications if you subscribe, like email notifications. So, you know, it's always worth just pressing that button and you know supporting as well. Um yeah, so look out for my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye!